Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are at. I want to thank you for checking out the Cali Truck Stop Theater. And this is going to be another session um, where I'm reading the book, How Do I Deal With My Emotions by John Ragsdale. So um, you can find this book, uh, as far as I know, you can find this book at the uh, Choice Books website. Or you can go to uh, uh, any one of the any one of these these truck stops that has the choice books uh, bookshelf display. Now the ones that I know of that that will uh, that will have it are the truck stops uh, like your Pilot, your Flying J's, um, um, TA, and Petro. Those those are the, the truck stops that I know that are going to have uh, choice books, um, you know, bookshelves there. Now yeah. You, you, Probably won't find this particular book there at all of the places, but if you happen to do, if you happen to find it at one of the truck stops, go ahead and pick this up if you're interested in it. Otherwise, you can go to the Choice Books uh, website. So I'm guessing that it's, if you can see that, I'm guessing that it's, um, it's let's try and focus in on that there, if you can see it. But I'm guessing that it's the uh, choicebooks.org as their website and so you can you can you know find the book there and, and pick it up if you choose to so we're actually going to get into the into the contents or the the meat of the book which is how do I deal with my emotions and so you know I'm gonna try to make these these videos short and I'm just gonna go through um, through each one of these sections um, and that's what the video is gonna consist of so um, so yeah I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna just do little short videos of this that way it, it kind of keeps your interest and I don't I don't bore you and I know that um, you know that we don't have a lot of time to be sitting and watching you know a, a lot of times we don't have the time to be sitting and watching a whole you know two-hour show um, about uh, just a regular nobody you know <laughs> so so I'm just breaking these up in like you know a little five ten minute videos however long it takes to read these these short little sections and I hope you enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button and share these videos. And uh, uh, I want to get some more subscribers to uh, to my channel. So here we go. Uh, we're going in to the meat of the book. All right, question one. Sometimes, especially when I'm tired, frustrated, or afraid, my emotions seem to go haywire. Why does this happen to me? The answer Emotions are contagious. When we're around people who are emotionally distraught, we're tempted to become upset too, unless we maintain a safe psychological distance from the emotional outburst. Also, our minds are like gardens. If we tend them, if we tend them with good thoughts, we reap a bountiful harvest. But if we allow them to be overgrown with negative thoughts, we reap a bitter harvest instead. This is from John chapter 16, verse 33. These things that I've spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Those are the words of Jesus. The cost of negative emotions. Grow a wise heart. You'll do yourself a favor. Keep a clear head and you'll find a good life. That's Proverbs chapter 19, verses eight, uh, verse 8. Time and again, the Bible instructs us to live by faith. Yet, despite our best intentions, negative feelings can rob us of the peace and abundance that could that could be ours and it should be ours through Christ when anger frustration impatience or anxiety separates us from the spiritual blessings that God has in store we must rethink our priorities and we must place our faith above feelings human emotions are highly vi uh, variable decidedly unpredictable and often unreliable unreliable our emotions change like the weather, 
but they are less predictable and far more fickle. So we must learn to live by faith, not by the ups and downs uh, of our own emotional roller coasters. Who's, will, who's pulling your emotional strings? Are you allowing highly emotional people to high, uh, excuse me, are you allowing highly emotional people or highly charged situations to, to dictate your moves? Or are you wiser than that? Sometimes during the coming day, sometime during the coming day, you may encounter a tough situation or a difficult person. And as a result, you may be gripped by a strong negative emotion. Distrust it. Rein it in. Test it. And turn it over to God. Your emotions will inevitably change. Uh, God will not. So trust him completely. When you do, you'll be surprised at how quickly those negative feelings will evaporate into thin air. More from God's word. All bitterness, anger, and wrath, shouting and slander must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God has also forgiven you in Christ. That comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 31 to 32. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you, can be, you were called in one body, and be thankful. That was Colossians chapter 3, verses, uh, verse 15. Get wisdom. How much better is it than gold? And get understanding. It is preferable to silver. That's Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16. Enthusiasm without knowledge is not good. If you act too quickly, you might make a mistake. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 2. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with goodness, goodness with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with godliness. That was 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 6. More, uh, more thoughts about emotions. A life lived in God is not lived on the plane of feelings, but of the will. That's from Elizabeth Elliot. It is Christ who is to be exalted, not our feelings. We will know him by obedience, not by emotions. Our love will be shown by obedience and not by how good or how good we feel about God at, at, at a given moment. Elizabeth Elliot. Our emotions can lie to us. And we need to counter our emotions with truth. Billy Graham. Our feelings do not affect God's facts. Amy Carmichael. Feelings are like chemicals. The more you analyze them, the worse they smell. <laughs> Charles Kingsley. Remember this. Human emotions are highly contagious. So when you're around people who are upset, you are more likely to become upset too. But if you are mentally prepared, you can resist negative emotions by making a conscious effort to stay calm. Get practical. The next time you encounter a difficult situation, beware of your emotions. If you begin to get upset, worried, frustrated, or angry, catch yourself. Take a deep breath and calm yourself down. Don't allow other people's negative emotions to become your negative emotions. A conversation starter. Talk to a friend about ways you both can stay calm when the people around you are upset or angry or both. Notes to yourself about emotions. Write down your thoughts about the powerful, about the power, about the power of positive and negative emotions. So if you choose to, um, you know, just take a piece of paper and write down, uh, write down your thoughts about the power of positive and negative emotions. So that was, uh, that was it. Um, that is going to be, what was the title of that? Let's just say, uh, yeah, the cost of negative emotions. That's what that's, uh, what that's going to be about. So
if you enjoyed that like the like the video and uh, I do want you to subscribe to it and share the uh, share these videos out with uh, with people that you know and uh, encourage them to to subscribe and like the videos as well and also share so that was it I hope you enjoyed it and I will come back with more content on another video